If you have a drone, it is almost inevitable that sooner or later you will fly into something, maybe a wall or a tree. Thankfully, the drones are pretty tough and usually you'll get away with only having damaged the propellers. These ones are badly mashed up on the end. Sometimes there's little tears in the trailing edge that are much more subtle than this. But don't fly your drone with um, damaged propellers. It imbalances everything. The pictures will be blurred and it puts an awful lot of strain on the bearings in the motor if they're, if they're not balanced up. So there are A and B propellers. They are not interchangeable. They are not the same. Um, the A propellers go on the near side left and the far side right and the B propellers go there. If you flip the whole thing round, it stays the same. The near side left and far side right are the A's and those are the B's. If you look at it from the side or turn it upside down though, that messes you right up. This is an A propeller. Can you see that it's got those A brows? If you say it in Scottish, it works perfectly. A's have A brows and B's are blank. Um, and helpfully, they have coded the arms also. So if you forget which is the A and the B, just look at the arm. It's got an eyebrow on it where the eyebrow um, propellers need to go. There is a little screwdriver with the kit. Um, it's not very good, but it'll do the job. You need to just hold the motor to stop it spinning. Apply gentle pressure because there is Loctite on these bolts. Just gentle sustained pressure and the whole thing will come off quite easily. Can you see some of the shredded Loctite from the removed bolt? Um, just be careful so that it doesn't all go down into the motor. Give it a bit of a clean. And then throw away all the props and the screws. Just ruthlessly chuck them in the bin. You don't want them. As it says here, you need to replace the screws also because they have Loctite on them. And once they're bedded in, they will stay nice and tight. So replace the screws and the rotors at the same time. The rotors, that's the underside, it's concave. That's the top side, it's convex. You can't really get that wrong. They're nearly all got a stripe on them. When you fix them, the, um, the rear arms sort of are up in the air. So just push that down onto the ground. Give yourself a nice solid base. Hold the motor to stop it spinning. And then there's about three whole rotations to get these to go all the way down you're trying to get this shoulder on the little screw see that shoulder there um, you're getting getting that to bed down onto the flat surface on top of the motor um, this one here look when the where the rotor will still go up and down that's not tight enough keep on going down until it looks like the one on the left you've done that as long as you've matched up the coded arm with the correct rotor, that's an eyebrows one on an eyebrows arm. And um, there's the blank ones there on the blank arm. If you've done all that, you're ready to go. Don't go off and drive miles. Have a little test outside. Make sure it sounds right. Make sure it looks right. Make sure it takes off. You'll soon find that it's a very straightforward job to change the rotors to put new propellers on your DJI Mini 2 and it's as good as new.